and we are live to the um to the two viewers hello welcome everyone how are you doing um and this is well this is going out for the people who are um oh no so that was a that message did not work the way i wanted it to um so yeah for the um I don't know what's going to be in the description, what's not, but in the chat I am going to post uh, just a couple of words that you guys are going to need to know in order to understand the lesson. It's just five little uh, phrases, really, that uh, are going to be used in this lesson in Gothic. Hey, Pale, welcome. Um, so then Anna Viola, and then Anna Elfe. Right, so those are our um, five phrases that are essential for understanding this. So what I am going to be demonstrating for you guys now is uh, the video game that I have been working at in Gothic. And I'm just going to really quickly uh, load up my load up the stream on my phone so I can watch your guys' comments as they go. Uh, let me see the chat. There we are. Wonderful. Right, so now I can see everyone's comments. Um, and so this is a computer game that I've been um, translating into the Gothic language for a while now. It is it's my favourite game. It's a fantasy computer game. You get the gist. And it's fun. I'm going to experiment with using this as an opportunity to teach people some gothic, just some basic gothic words. So a uh, new year sockings is what we need to click on, which is like a new quest to start a new game. Um, so let's do that. This is a character menu and you can choose your stats. Welcome guys. Um, so the note that the terms for the stats I've actually put in Latin rather than gothic so that they're distinct. So when it says um, the word for strength in Gothic is actually machts, but here I've said fortitudo, so that in the game when it's referring to strength, like you know, 16 strength points, it says uh, fortitudo rather than uh, machts, so that that's distinct. And I'm going to play as a thief character. Oxford House is much more fun when you play as a thief character. So let's go. Also, guys, let me know if like sound or any levels need adjusting. All right, so that stuff in the top of the screen is, um, game instructions, we don't need to pay attention to that right now. Um, I'm going to go around and let's see what items we have in our cell. So these things here, this is a, uh, if we look in the uh, top corner of the screen, if we look at the top of the screen, it'll show uh, the name in Gothic of these items. And part of my intention is that by the end of this lesson, you'll, you guys will be able to tell me what each of these items what each of these words means in gothic so when i say swums you guys can say oh that's a mushroom for instance or this thing here which is a huerni so um you need to talk with this I mean, man it's gone i remember nothing not even my own name what what did i come here to do the gobblers probably crept up on you from behind bloody gobblers come on look around your cell there has to be a way to get out on your side I can't do anything on my side. Right, so, he can't do anything on his side, we've got to find a way to get out. The only other thing to do is, aha, uh -huh. so there's this thing here, and it says we can click it in order to move it. And now we can click on these uh, stungles, which is uh, bars, in order to bend them, because they're a bit weakened. Well done. There we are. Now. There's a, there's a ben right there, B-A-I-N, and that is a bone. And so I'm now equipping the bone. So fata ben halda is like I'm holding the bone or I'm wielding the bone. 
and now we can go fight this goblin. So, Thata Bugi Slacha, I'm going to hit the goblin. Thama Vena with the bane with the bone. Now we can say, um, Thama Bogia Usquam, I killed the goblin. Yah Us Lika Cinema, and from his body, Nam Epistole Yah Morho. Bar is Stanga, very good. So I'm putting these things on the table. Um, I'm gonna, so in this lesson, we're going to have some things that are gonna be for the more um, advanced Gothic speakers. Oh my, let's make, yeah. Um, so let's have a read of the letter and see what it says. So the letter says, Ik quima du ufsat yan thuk, vi thek thanek matia, thu vi se huis gomans, thu ad se huis bi niu yana, sa slit stukith anatole. Now, just a quick note um, with this, with the Gothic of this. Um, the goblins and the trolls in this game, they speak almost like broken English. So in the game, I, I made their Gothic. It's not broken, it's not grammatically incorrect, it's just a bit not idiomatic. So. Um, you wouldn't use pronouns like this in regular gothic, um, but this is like weird goblin speak. So, ik um, quima is I come, ruuf satyan to replace, fuk is you, bifek van ik matya, after I have eaten. You are the one who is um, watching, guarding the humans. Thu at sechwisbi nyoyana, watch out for the new one, or concerning the new one. He seems dangerous. And it's signed by Anatole. So, based on this, we can probably guess that um, the guard is going to come back after eating, after this guy has eaten. And he had a carrot ready for his lunch before we killed him. So, we should let this guy out of his cell, shouldn't we? By pulling this lever, which is Garisasna. Thank you, Amshigar. If you can't remember your name, you better keep this one. It means, he who has no name in a foreign tongue. My name is Koltar, and I was part of the Traveler's Guild before I ended up here. Amshigar. Guess I'll keep this name for now. What is this Guild of Travelers? Well, you really have lost your memory, haven't you? Our world no longer has a sun to heat it, and outside is nothing more than a huge expanse of ice. Only those who are trained and equipped for extreme conditions are allowed to make the dangerous trek between fortress cities hidden deep in the mountains. These people are the Guild of Travelers. Right. We shall discuss this later. Now let's get out of here. I am injured. I won't be able to get through this hole. I'll stay here and wait till you can open the door. Don't worry about me. Nice. And also, late to the game. Very good, yes. Um, Sleeth does mean dangerous when it's describing a man. Yes. And it's uh, Sleetha if it's a woman. Or just Sleethata if it's um, a neut neutral or a non-binary person. So, um, if you guys scroll up in the chat, you'll be able to see the... Um, and also, it's in the description of the stream. We've got some vocab. Uh, that I gave you guys from earlier. So, I'm going to ask you guys some questions. Oh, and I'll, first I'll show you the vocab, and then I want to see if anyone can answer. So, Anabioda um, sind on the table there are morho, flasco wines, swams, hlefs, epistole, and fisks. So, hua sind anabioda. Hua sind anabioda. I get, I've given the description of Hua and Sin um, up in the chat. Can anyone guess what this is? I also should have anticipated that fewer people would be um, typing in chat. Um, what to do with the... Okay. Um, so some other things that we have in the room are stalls 
And over here, we have Stolila. Um, Biyoda is table. Um, so on the table. It's um it's up in the chat and in the description. Ana Biyoda is um on the table. Um, so when I ask Huasind Ana Biyoda, what does that mean? Huasind Ana Biyoda. Biyot's is table, yes, exactly, brilliant. Um, and biyoda is uh, the dative case because it's after the preposition ana, but we don't need to go into that for now. Um, so, ana, ana biyoda sind morajo, swans, flasco winis, lefts, membrana, yach, fisks, fisks, frisks, ligith ana, meza renyama. Uh, exactly, yes, it literally, literally means what's on the table. Um, so if I take off these two now, put them down by the dead goblin. So now, what's on the table? Or, uh, <laughs> uh, or huasind anabiyoda. Yeah, the chat is delayed by about 20 seconds. That's going to cause some problems now that I think about it. Maybe it were better for me just to go through the game and give some notes for what to focus on. Right, so um, a quick thing. S somebody can post in the chat and I'll have it later when it comes up. So this is a stols and this here is a stolilla. So what do we think the illa bit means with all that? And one last one for any advanced uh, gothic speakers. These couple of lines here. I'll read out for you. This is our quest log. It records everything that we've done. Thukia wisan in thise karkare bugie from himeth liu han skal yach anhulian huana im. So that's our instructions. It's telling us what we need to do next. So if there is an advanced student, maybe they can tell me what it means. Hliftus. I'm going to save our name as Hliftus, which means thief. So. Oh my gosh, yes, so um, late to the game has got um, Sin Flasco, Lefs, Epistola, Yachvisks. Brilliant! There is, um, uh, well, there was rather, um, a Flasco, Venus, Lefs, Epistola, Yachvisks. And can anybody, um, uh, the, the vocabulary is likewise in the description. Can anyone tell me what any of those words? Ah, and in fact, I will um, provide them real quick for you guys. Um, I'll provide them and I'll separate them and you guys can... Um, I'll separate them with those uh, dashes and you got, with um, slashes and you guys can say if you recognise any words because that's part of the hope is that you guys can leave here just with a couple of gothic words under your belt. Stolz, Stolila, Stolz, Dorl, Atrapadora. And actually, most of these words are attested, so that's good. Schema uh, and Garisasa. There we are. Um, I put the words in the chat. And you guys can let, let me, you guys let me know if you um, if you're able to translate any of those words and figure out what they mean. So now that we've done all that, let's chuck this dish away, and let's go. Oh, we one thing we need to do we need to break this trap door in order to go down. So um, let's do that. Shit! <laughs> right now, let's jump down. Whee. Okay, right. So let's have a look. There's a couple of new things here. So there's a farns, which is, um, well, you guys can guess what farns is. Um, this one I need to explain. This is grasa lignina, which is um, medicinal um, plants, essentially. So those are probably good to have. Let's take those. Does that have a name? That is uh, halos wavios. Um, 
which is like a piece of the wall. There's another Huerani. Look at that. And that is a Nos. That thing that we're looking at now is a Nos. Uh, we've got some runes. We've got clothes that we can put on. Very cool. So here on the ground is something called a, a torch. Sorry, um, is something called a schema, as we can see. And I think that's attracted a rat. So let's kill this rat. What? Kill me. There we go. So, and there's a, there's a lot of skulls down here. Look at that. There's a huerani. There we are, schema. We can see it up there. So let's take this. And let's explore a bit more. There's another rat. Let's get ready to kill it. Bonk. 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 That's dead now. There's another Farns, Huern, Pueni, Halos, Wadios. So with this game, the only stuff that's not fully translated are some of the subtitles when people speak, like when that man was speaking. Um, and I'm translating those, they should be done by the end of the month, and as soon as they're done, um, I will release the subtitle version. The, the audio will still be in English, but what I'm hoping is that for students who want to learn Gothic, the audio will be useful because the audio will let them know what's going on enough so they can play the game. Um, but they'll still learn some Gothic, hopefully. We'll see. And we'll see if you guys can pick up some Gothic words. Oh man, it hit me. I might die. Right, I need to eat something, otherwise I will genuinely die. Um, so, Fana Hlef Matida, I ate the bread. For Morhon Matida, I ate the um, carrot. Fana uh, Swam Matida, I ate the, the um, I ate the mushroom. And yeah. So it won't. Uh, but we can't hold it long enough to show. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Let's kill some more spiders. So this, this thing here is a fate distal, which is, um, well you guys can see what a fate distal is. So what things do we have in here? This thing is a sewa, I believe, if I'm, sima, sima, my bad, it's a sima. And here is another nos. Anyone can guess what nos means, N-A-U-S? It's not in the list, so don't worry about it, but I'm wondering if anyone can guess. Okay, so this thing says, uh, try to um, put some raw food by the fire to heat it. So I'll show you how the magic system in this game works. So in, your, in, in our spell book, we have these runes that we pick up. And when we cast runes in a certain order, it lets us cast a spell. So this spell is a uh, tandian, which is an attested word, and it means ignite. So if we hold down the control key and we draw the runes in the air, it'll cast a spell in the game. So, and then we have the fire coming up very nicely. And we can put some things on the ground, like we can put this fisks on the ground. And if we move it close to the fire, It becomes cooked, and it's a fisks um, garwitz, fisks garwitz, which is very fun. Here are some more uh, swamos mushrooms. I'm trying to avoid just saying the words of the things in English, so that you guys pick pick up on it through the game. Here are um, watabloma. That, that's maybe not too obvious. That's water lilies, water bloma. Here's another nos. Here is a, a spell scroll. Another ben. So, I'm also showing you guys basically as we go all of the secret areas. 
within Arx Vitalis, of which there are many, many. Right, so now let's go down here. This looks like it's our exit. There's like an elevator, but it's broken because it doesn't, and it says in the descriptions, um, you know, put the um, sima, which is the rope in the uh, mechanism to make it work, but we're going to open up a secret Easter egg area instead. So there we go. That opens up the secret door. And if we cast the spell again... Oh, is there not a torch here? There we go, there's the torch. I was just out of range. Um, so there's another fade thistle. And there's another Sima right there. So let's take some things from this room. What do we have over here that we could maybe take as soon as there? Yeah. So we have a fla we have a drunk. A drunk is um well it's just a drink really. Um another fate distal, um Hwenny. Uh, stickles, which is quite a cute little word, stickles. Um, mes fen. Uh, lukils. Lukils, that's an important word. Flaskoweenis, which you guys should already recognise. Oops, there's a rat. Let's kill it. Bonk. Hard bonk. Right. And also we have apples. That should be quite obvious what that one is. Right, so we've cleared out everything in this level. Oh, we just leveled up, look at that. Lovely, right. Well, we have some choices to make, lads. Um, I'm gonna go with extra stealth for the time being, because if we get really stealthy, we'll be able to get through this level and survive, basically. Um, which is important. Survival is good. We stand surviving. And now that we've done that, we can go up the elevator. And I'm going to quickly save the game, which is a Gaberagon. And, oh, did I not save Liftus? Oh my goodness. Uh, Liftus. Gaberagon. God damn it. Right, that's been saved. Thank God. I wouldn't want to have lost all the progress I made with you guys. Let's have a look over here. So has anyone um, worked out what any of those words mean? Like an English translation of any of those... Oh my. Of any of the uh, words that I posted in chat. So swams, uh, where, uh, ben, beot, or somebody already got beot, fisks, etc. Watabloma. Sachs. We finally got a weapon, so let's uh, equip that weapon. Something better than just a bone. You might be able to hear our footsteps, and that's actually really important. So part of that re is the reason I'm going to take off these um, take off these trousers because it'll. Make us softer. Better able to stealth. Which is why at some point in this game I will literally be running around naked. <laughs> nice. Alright. The rat is dead. That's just more rubble. Let's go onwards, lads. Also, how's everyone doing in chat? Oh shit. Good thing we saved him earlier. He just completely resisted that when I stabbed him in the back. Oh my. I literally can't hurt this, this guy. Swam's is mushroom, yes. Um, perfect. Um, late to the game. And sponge, yes. 
So to my knowledge, um, the word swarms, its meaning as a uh, mushroom is actually just one that we... So from my understanding, uh, with swarms, the meaning of uh, mushroom is actually ex like just we know that from Proto-Germanic, not from Gothic itself, because in the Bible it's for it's for um, in the Bible it's obviously a sponge that they use to dip in vinegar and they feed it to Jesus. Um, we just um, We unlock that door and we go in. So here are some more birds. We have a hemma. We have uh, some milu. Uh, milu is a flower. May not be too obvious. Milu. Oh, here's a, a rolling pin. That's a fun one. Um, and I can show off to you guys some of the fun mechanics that we have in this game. So, right. We'll we'll activate. Uh, ben is bone. Perfect late to the game. And mess equals plate. Exactly. Brilliant. Stalls is chair, Fisk's mat, yes, Fisk's is a fish and Hlef's is bread. Um, Stalls is a chair, Stolila is a stool, exactly. So the Ila is like little. So Attila actually means like little father, famously like Attila the Hun. So it's like little daddy, basically, which people always find very amusing, as they should when doing this. So um, we've got, so, eh, we've got flour here, right? Put it on the floor. I know this is very unhygienic, but this is the Middle Ages, okay? We don't have health and safety guidelines. Um, if we mix water with the flour, we get some bread. If we use the rolling pin on this bread, we get a pie, a torta. And a torta un garbida, so it's like an uncooked pie. If we add an apples to the torta un garbida, we get an apple torta un garbida, which is an apple pie, uncooked, or an uncooked apple pie. And then lastly, if we add some uh, this flask of weenus to the apple torta un garbida, we get a, a, a fancy flavoured apple torta un garbida. And now, if we move this over to the fire and put it here, it grows. And now we can take and eat it. I just love that you can do that. There's loads of things like that in this game. So much fun. Right, nice. Um, Yes, great job, guys! You're getting the vo guessing the um, the vocab. Awesome. I'll save the game because the bit I'm about to do is quite risky, so I don't want to risk, um, you know, suddenly having suddenly losing progress. Let's listen to this bit. There's so many like small little bits like that in this game where you realize that it's it's a world and you're um and you're in it. So this is the um this is the cell that we were in before. So this is the guard that we killed. Oh wait. No, look at that. Hold on. So there's one. And there's another one. Maybe they killed the guy who was going to replace this maybe this is an Atelier and they killed him. Wow. This is the first time I, I played this game so many times. I've not noticed the second goblin. Wow. Um, I think also, if we go back through. Oh no, the bars are still broken. Wow, that's wild. Okay. Let's go. Well, they've they've taken care of the trapdoor problem, so prisoners can't escape through it. Goodness. Right. Luca, uh, door, I close the door. And so now, right, with these torches, um, they shine light and therefore I'm visible. But if I use um, a bottle of water on the torch, it puts it out, it extinguishes it. Okay. So, this is going to be risky. We're going to, like, 
try to run through this. Oh no, I think it saw me. Um, Right, so they said if there's one more dirty plate on that table, they're going to kill the Zook. Shit. Okay. Right, let's steal this plate. So this is a dirty plate, this is a mess. Mess Unhren. Wait, what? Look, boss. Zook leave plate on table. At last, draw. Now me punch Zook lights out. Yeah, boss. <laughs> me hold Zook. You smash him brains to mush. What a little rat. Look at this guy. So that's the point of stealth as a thief character. I can walk behind them without being heard. So now, while they're... F Whoa! Whoa, he killed him fast. Okay, I gotta run. Shit. Ah! Oh gosh. I'm, I'm legit gonna die. If we go to the upper level, they can't follow us through the stairs, so I'm hoping just to run to there and... Shit. Uh, phew. Okay. Right. We made it. Up here. Okay. We have to go back because there's two things we need to get. Hopefully they'll have gone away by now. Eh. I think it's something, by the way, about like diplomacy. Like they can't like legally um they can't legally go up. Um, to different levels because they're owned by a different kingdom. I think that's what the deal is there. So we have another Fisks Frisks, another Stalls, Stickles, uh, another Drunk, which I do need. What do we have here? There we go. That's a Knaps Fulhans, a hidden button. Uh, Lukis. And these are really important, so I'll show you. So this is a license, Uslovins, and it says, So Uslovins, Sa Haltan Sto, Fris Ist, Du Ferch Gangan Theodan Gardia Bogie, At Givana Ferch. So it says, um, This is the license. Um, the one holding this is free to walk through the Goblin Kingdom. It is. This was given by, and it's blank, so. We don't have any goblin that's authorized this license, so that's going to be a problem. And this is a letter from somebody called Freya Iserbius, which assume, presumably is Lord Iserbius. So here's one more word, uh, Wangaris, Wangaris, uh, the guy is sleeping on. So let's steal a couple more things, hmm, I'll have to just... Uh, eat that so I can make room for the key. Very important. Right, let's go. So we've gotten anyone, anyone, does anyone have any idea what a uh, door is? D A U R, but it's pronounced door. 
um, from the list. Or schema. Schema. Now let's go explore this new area. Oh my. There's actually a word for that, by the way, in Gothic. It's called a rero. For when the earth moves. Let's see what happened here. Jesus. Brandus Brutans. Dor. Stolila, Twistles, Mess Unhen, Ben Honis, Mess Hren. Wow. Okay. Pistol Yach Malames. Door is door, exactly. Perfect. Oh, wow. Wardia War is um, a guard. There's that word again, Wangar Wangaris. Wangaris. Uh, and sometimes under these I think that that's one of those details Look, there were coins under the pillow and I just find that so like I don't know this was some guards like pocket money that he was saving away for maybe a night out or something and now he's just gone oh he, let's learn some animal but ah flask or weenus is a flask or bottle of wine exactly and uh wine is ween exactly uh late to the game perfect um here's some animals so hon you can probably see what that means in english um we got hon we have um sween schema is a torch brilliant yes matt great job uh morajo we've already had that word uh we've had Gronalox, which is a uh, lox, is a uh, like the English word leak. I'm curious what my skills are. I probably won't be able to unlock this, but if you use the um the toolkit on the chest, you can sometimes unlock them. Hmm. I think I've damaged my tools. Ah, uh, if they say that, it means you can do it, but you need to keep trying. There you go. Like that. Nice. Okay, let's try the other one. Too complicated for me. Too complicated. Okay. A civilian. I am Orthia, captain of the king's armies and commander of this outpost. Are you a mercenary? Can we count on your help? Mercenary? Perhaps. For now, I have just put some distance between myself and a couple of goblins. What happened to you? We were attacked by a small group of Ilsids. They wounded me and took three of my men. The Ilsids? Two hours ago, three of them infiltrated the outpost. They attacked without warning or provocation. The Ilsid have earned a reputation as fierce and unstoppable warriors. Late stream, yeah, I Hon is Hen, exactly. Their, their speed is unbelievable. In a flash, they disabled and dragged off three of my men. And you must have seen what they did to Karnak. I don't know why they did that. But I do know it would be long before they return. Find someone else to help. I have my own <laughs> it, it's always funny when you get it. There is armor we'll get later, don't hope. worry. I cannot trust the rabble at the tavern. I'd sooner trust a total stranger. I just told you that. You have to go to the castle and tell the king what has happened here. This is of vital importance. Since the last earthquake, the path to the castle has been blocked by a cave-in, and we have been unable to get through. You must tell him that the Ilsons have declared war on us. This is ridiculous. You've just told me that the path leading to the castle is blocked. You should be able to go through the goblin's cave two levels down, then find a way back up to this level. It is dangerous and roundabout, but we have no choice. If you find a way back up there, you should be back in the human kingdom once again. Impossible. I've only just escaped from a goblin prison. Here, this will help. It's a gemstone dealer's license. As 
long as they think you're a salesman and you don't attack them, they'll probably leave you alone. I have to stay here. You are our only hope, brave mercenary. Right. Oh, good thing that we noticed that um, the um, we would have lost the license because our inventory is too full. Right, let's take that. I'm also going to drink up this wine. If you drink too much wine, you actually get drunk and you sort of can't see very well. It's quite cool. Right. Oh man, Jesus. So here we have some uh, Guafine Scatos, which is, um, well, it's obvious, Flasco Venus. Um, we also have a Stuka Vakos, which we can read. Um, and I won't read it all out to you, don't worry, but um, you can see like Yer, Yer, Yer um, means like in the year of so and so. Um, so these all seem to be from the year 266, and this is telling you what happened in this, um, some of the mysterious events that they noticed in the lead up to the attack on the, um, to the attack on the castle, on the outpost. Right, that's all saved. There's a sword, but we're not going to be strong enough to wield it. Um, but you should know the name is Mekis, is a sword. Uh, Arhuasnos is, um, well, I think that's quite clear what that is. Um, Mekis and Arhuasna, by the way, are both attested words. There's a uh, Sween again, and there's a. Uh, oh, yeah, what's Sween? Who can guess what Sween is? And bonus points, who can get see, like, who can notice, like, what word we have that's like it in English? Sween. Here's a hammer. Oh man, that guy's fully dead now. Oh, he has some cheese on him. You're s I'm gonna steal the cheese. Don't judge me. I'm stealing cheese. Right, well, they're not gonna let us through unless our papers are signed, so I'm gonna have to go and see if our friend from earlier, who I let out of prison, can help me out. Swine, exactly pale, yes. Oh look, oh this is a really cute bit, hold on. So this is a Huns, and if you give him, so this uh, this down here, oops. So this is a fish, and if you give him the fish, he eats it, and he'll follow you. Look, he's happy and he's following me, he's got a pet. Uh, exactly, Matt, this uh, swi swin means a swine and pig, yeah. And look, we've got a little Huns, a little pet who will follow us around. And if we give him food, he'll eat it. I love that. Right, here we go. Let's welcome talk. to the yellow tulip, stranger. Drink and relax. You'll always be welcome here, as long as your coin holds out. Okay, wow. Oh my god, the dog is in the way. Ah, he loves me too much. Okay. The outpost has been attacked by the Ilsins. There's a sign up there. And it says, uh, It says, Tehun Stokia Gulthis for a flask on Winis. Um, which means 10 pieces of gold for a glass of, or, a, yeah, a bottle of wine. That's Tizzy. So it's like a menu, basically. My name is Am Shigar. Pleased to meet you, handsome. Swine does equal I'm big tizzy, pink boy, exactly. The owner of this fine establishment. And though I'm acquainted with most of the rogues and scoundrels here in Arks, I don't remember seeing you around. Are you from the Traveler's Guild? What? <laughs> I forget myself. What can I do for you? Nothing in particular right now. How much for a drink? Just two gold for our finest, sweetheart. So let's give us some gold and let's have a drink, have a beer. Nice. You just drank a beer. I wonder if you can get drunk on the beer. Let's I see. Can't serve you right now. Hey! I can't serve you right oh my god. Oh, it's because she's going over to serve him, that's why. Rude. What sort of moral is drink, that? Sweetheart. I don't really like it when people rummage about on the beer. Well, I don't think we really have much choice, you know? What do you think of this? I can't serve you right now. Oh my... Now. Uh, 
Um, one thing I will say that I love about this game is, so it's, it's like, it is like Morrowind, and it's a similar kind of game, but the main way you interact with the game is not by s killing stuff, it's by doing things, which is what I love. Alright. Hmm. Okay. That didn't work out so well. Anyway, right, let's go upstairs, see what's going on. Come closer! Come closer! I can feel that luck is with us today. Try your luck in the game, and leave with your pockets full of gold. So, th these are the rules of the game. Am credinos dispilis. Casati tecnins ana taletho iwalides. Um, than wandi tata huyun. Yave gaframies, thoch givanda, um, te hunta hund stukia gultis. Ak yave ni gaframies, te hund stukia gultis, ther huaria toch tecn in spilla fraliosis. Gothawi. So, it's, um, the rules of the game. Um, Place your tokens on the table, those tokens that you've chosen. Um, then spin the wheel. If you have, if you win, you'll be given one hundred um, pieces of gold. But if you if you don't win, um, you will lose ten pieces of gold for every token that's on the game. Good luck, Gothawi. It's like good luck. So there's the uh, token which is like a token or a sign. Um, let's put it on number... Actually, I'll let you guys choose. Which number do we think is lucky today? Um, it goes from 1 to 9. So give me a number from 1 to 9, and we'll, we'll indulge in some gambling. Oh no, we went that close, we went that close. Soon she will smile on you. Oh, we have a winner. Dudes, we actually won. We got a hundred gold. On your side. <laughs> Love that. Okay. Right, I'm g like you should always do, and I'm now going to leave before I fuel and develop an a gambling problem. Um, one other thing. They have toilets in this game. They actually have toilets. And people use them. Right. Oh, what's that written on the wall? Ratons, Yave Willis, Ferrehan, who's the waps? Who's the waps? Amines, Brookis, Smaraglus, Du Uslukan, who's mean, Oliver? Right, so it's, um, Traveller, if you want to, um, if you want to find, if you want to participate in my, um, treasure hunt, use an emerald to open my treasure, Oliver, so that will probably come up later. So, Anna be the hair, sin flascoquines, flascoquines, yach, lefts, so on this table there are, you guys know what that means. Come on over and have a drink. Take a load off. I'm Enoil Calpau, and this little rat hole is my favorite haunt. Now, why don't you tell me a little about yourself? Actually, I'm having trouble with my memory. Can you tell me who I am? <laughs> You're a trusting soul. Sorry, friend. But as I said, I've never laid eyes on you before. No one around here look familiar to you? Maybe you were with the Guild of Travelers, and some horrible disaster befell them, leaving you to wander around traumatized. Or maybe some thug hit you on the head and lifted your purse. Who's to say? Well then, tell me about this place. Well, this here is a bar. Folks come in here to drink and complain. But maybe you meant the bigger picture. You must have really smacked your noggin. We lived down here in these old mines because our sun flared out some years ago and left the topside world a frozen wasteland. But how many people live here and where can I find this guild of travelers that I might belong to? You know, I'm not really sure just how many of us there are crammed down here. Besides us men, you've got your goblins, dwarves, trolls, and you've got different factions of each. Hard to say, really. 
As for the Travelers Guild, they're a bunch of hard-to-kill bastards who keep the lines of communication and trade open between us and all the other rat hole cities. This bit was really hard to translate. It's supposed to be a long, tough trek between cities, so we don't see them too often. It may be a while before we see another group. If you ever want to find me, I'm usually here. Right, okay. At some point, we're going to translate the audio into Gothic as well, but for now, we won't. Go away, no, we're not going to try that. We're not going to, we're not going to lose our money again. Password. Tizzy told me you could open the door. <laughs> Password. Open up. I just gave it to you. Password. Tizzy told me you could open the door. Password. Open up. I just gave it to you. Nah, it's not going to work. Let's ask Tizzy. I need a password to get through that metal door over there. Ooh, I'm sorry, darling. Perhaps later, once you've been initiated. That sounds very mysterious, but okay. The outpost has been attacked by the Ilses. Pulsius, why were you taken prisoner? Well, me tell you because you my friend now. You know, some humans disappear, turned into dinner for Akba. Akba? Akba hungry, always hungry. We goblins did deals with Akba's priests. In beginning, good for business, because we give humans and they give gold pieces. But me not really happy, because soon Akba become too powerful. And with Ilsid, him want to kill all world. Humans, the goblins, uh, and all the others. I tell king of goblins, and him say me bad goblin. Not allowed to business. Let me go to prison. A human eating other humans? Uh, goblins give humans to Lord Servius and him priest. Priest give humans to Akba. Right. So now we know what's going on. We know that it seems the, goblin that the goblins catch people and then sell them again. <laughs> like I overheard and he's like that's what they said. <laughs> right. So we've got this um, license that we need a goblin to sign for us. Yeah. Your papers in order, friend. It's funny, I noticed a couple of mistakes um, in the grammar of the subtitles, so I'll have to go and correct that. Mm. Um, it's good to know. Is our dog going to follow us? I mean, I think if we give him some food, he'll follow us again. Oh. Come on. Yeah, there we go. Got our pet. Lovely. This is wholesome. Okay, I'm just going to quickly go and top up. I'll see if I can do it. No, I can't top up here. I'm going to go run back to the castle and, sorry, get back to the outpost and get some more water because I need it to be stealthy and sneaky in the goblin area. So, I think actually we've gotten through all of the vocab that I, yeah, we've gotten through all of the vocab that I um, initially wanted you guys to get, and you guys guessed um, a couple of other ones as well, like Hon and uh, Sween, so I'm very happy with um, how the language learning side of this playthrough has gone thus far. So now we've gotten this water, we can go back to the Goblin Kingdom and hopefully sneak through because we need basically we need darkness in order to hide from the goblins when we get back there Human, you enter Goblin Kingdom. Humans is not allowed, except gem dealers. Right, so we need to show him our license, and this is it. Uslovins, Boris, Oh wait, no, it's the other one. Awkward. 
uh, it is loso, there we are. So it's um it says loso gadelian dins erkna stenne. And if I read it real quick, it'll say loso gadelian gadelian dins dins erkna stenne. Tala twenty five b. Andvacht ja liko given sech fiudan a luncilu yachthana uh and machti theod ala machti theodan alotar. So it's um um Theo um Theoda late to the game and thank you for coming. It was great having you here. Um so this says um a oops it says eh, a license for one dealing in gemstones, number twenty five B, um officially given by uh King Lunchire and the Almighty King Alotta. So that's the king of goblins and humans and goblins, respectively. So we need to give him the license and he'll let us through. I'm a dealer. Here's my license. Everything in order. You're passing now. But careful. Human rebels is escaped from our prison not long ago. Oh, no. Only dealers allowed passing. Oh, shit. Drums. Okay. Right, so we are... Quite, we have, we're quite high level in stealth, so if we if we don't have any of that armor on and we are moving silently, they won't be able to see us. So what we got to do? They will be able to see us if there's light around. So we have to um, we have to extinguish all of these torches using that. Lords, huh? Attack! Shit, it's fun. Yeah. That genuinely shocked me. Oh my god, right. <sighs> Let's go back. Oh Jesus, look at that. Those are presumably humans who tried to get away. Oof. Has he seen me or not? For you. I think he hasn't. It looks like, well, he doesn't have his weapon out. It almost looks like he hasn't seen me. But he clearly has. Here, he's following me. Oh, I think I know what's happened. I think he's trying to follow me. Yeah, yeah. He, he, okay, right. Get lost. Die, oh, shit. Oh, God. No. Oh god. Get away. He proud of me now. We died. We got killed by the goblins. Oh no. This is fine. This is why it's hit games. Um when did I last save that game? Oh for God's sake. Well you know, I showed you guys that I'll just run through it and I'll I'll get the license signed and we'll we'll run. We'll speed run this. Let's go, lads. I wish I had the cheat so I could just so I could just run, you know? There's there's a when you get high level there's a spell where you can run. But you can't actually run until you get that. Uh this is why you save your games. I should just kill those goblins as well. It's much faster to get to the um much faster to get to the guy. I prefer to play by stealth because it's um it's more interesting, but it does take a lot more time. So for the sake of for your guys' sake, I'll um kill those goblins this time. Once we got the license. Hey, okay, hurry up. Why can't I talk to you? Dude, sign my papers. Here. Ah. Your papers in order. Right. right, let's run. Unfortunately, I won't have all of that extra gold, but whatever. Let's bring our dog with us. Oh. 
our little huns. Okay. I've got my license ready, and I'm gonna be like, "Yo, let me in, let me in, God damn it! I'm a dealer." Oh my god. Kingdom. We have to listen to his whole Humans speech. Is not, allowed, except gem dealers. not now. I'm a dealer. Here's my license. Everything in order. You're passing now. But careful. Human rebels is escaped from our prison not long ago. Save it. I'll save it now so that we don't lose it again. Right, let's go. Oi, you! Help! Oh yeah, these guys are cowards and they will scream for help. Right, but thankfully he's dead now. Okay. Okay, so we need to see both. He needs to see both our license and our gem dealer badge. So that's the uh, that's the permission and that's the license. We did it. So our quest log has been updated. Um, you guys, what I recommend for advanced uh, Gothic learners is if you pause here and take a screenshot, you can translate. Uh, the quest log in your own time or if you want to you can translate uh, maybe this letter you can pause and take a screenshot of this letter and translate it on your own time most of the words where possible will be attested um, but if not you can find the reconstructed words on the gothic discord server um, and this is a good place to uh, call it for the day because once we go through this level we're going to be on a whole new floor and that's a whole new part of the quest um, so our task now, in the next week when we get back, is to um, do what Ortian wanted us to do, and we'll have to get our way over to the human kingdom and warn the king about what's happened to the outpost. So that's what we're going to have to do, and that's what we'll do next Saturday, hopefully, at 7pm. So thank you guys so much for... Um, attending and for participating. Um, anybody who is watching this video later on, if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments and I will try and answer them about Gothic or the game or anything. I am going to be making the version of this game with all of the text in Gothic, so obviously the audio will still be in English. Um, I'll be making that available hopefully by the end of July for the for people to download and play on their own. Um, it'll just be like a language pack or a text file that you can substitute in the source code yourself. Um, and yeah, this is uh, the first computer game that's translated. Well, there's, there was there was Minecraft, but yeah. So it's, I guess the first like game of its kind, like the first kind of RPG like this, translated into the Gothic language. And it was awesome to introduce it to you guys and play through a bit. And I'm going to hope to use it as a teaching tool in future weeks. So anyway. Thanks you guys so much once again and I hope you 